Well, welcome back to Chester and we are about to embark on the Chester Christmas Markets which uh, have now opened today. Uh, so we're going to do a little tour around. Um, this is uh, one aspect of Chester which I actually love. The Christmas Markets uh, are absolutely sensational and uh, we're going to do a little a little tour. Hopefully I'll try and capture some of the uh, price lists and give you a flavour of what uh, what's actually on offer. Um, we do walks around Chester every Saturday and Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. We start here at the cathedral. It's free, but we do ask for a donation of £15 per person to cover our expenses, including the petrol, the parking, etc. Um, but anyway, join us now. Uh, I'll put a link... Um, I'll put a link in the uh, in the bio below. Um, but let's have a let's have a quick walk around and see what we can see what we can actually see. So here we start with some uh, hand poured candles and fragrances. Here we've got an artisan bakery, Jules Gourmet, and uh, there we go. Nice young lady selling some gin. Uh, and there we've got. Uh, some, uh, well, now what do you call that? Someone tell me in the uh, in the answers below. I'm not sure what do you call that. But, um, yes, uh, I've forgotten. Ge genealogy, genealogy, something like that. Uh, the famous Chester Christmas Market Bar, Ice Bar is back, and we've got some hand carved bits and pieces. Schwitzio. And right, let's carry on down here. This is obviously the back of the uh, the back of the store. So I'll tell you what, let's go around the front. Yeah. There we go. They've only just opened, so hopefully it won't be too busy, and uh, you'll be able to get a flavour of uh, what's on offer. So we've got the uh, silver guru. Various items of silver, jewellery, nice cheese stall there, some personalised keepsakes, more alcohol, hmm, might well be coming back for some of that uh, near Christmas. Fudge, fudge? <laughs> there a uh, nod to Peter K there, and uh, more handcrafts, very nice. And then we've got a noodle bar. Not even not put the prices up yet, so I can't tell you how much the noodles are. I know that uh, some of the prices in uh, I think it was the Birmingham Christmas market were uh, borderline horrendous. So hopefully they're uh, a bit more reasonable as you uh, as you head further north. We're uh, quite a canny lot of northerners and uh, Chester folk. Some skincare products. Uh, we don't know what that is. It seems to be more alcohol. Nice dog. Nice dash hound. <laughs> and then we've got hot chocolate. Again, there's no. Uh, I think he's still setting up there, so we've not actually got any prices. Oh, this is a nice addition. What's this? A festive light-up dog. What's not to like? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Some uh, nice plants there. A light-up rain reindeer. Reef, twenty pound. And some nice. Uh, I think they're memorial pots. Sorry, but yeah, very nice. Very nice. Right, let's go back. Let's go back down here. lovely place Chester I don't know if, um, if any of you have been on our walks we uh, we start at the cathedral we carry on around to Abbey Street which is a famous street uh, used in Sherlock Holmes and there's a couple of Netflix films it's been uh, it's been uh, used in and then we go down, down the walls down to the down to the uh, 
famous um, clock right in the middle, the Victorian clock as we call it locally, Victoria clock, into the amphitheatre and uh, St John's Chapel. It's a bit more congested here so I may have to keep my voice down. And then yeah we go down to the River Dee and uh, the coffin, coffin in the wall, absolutely fantastic, uh, some great imagery and uh, we usually do that over a two hour period. Right, back to Christmas. Scented Candle Company doing a roaring trade. Chap selling macaroons there, one for two pound each, four for six pound or eight for ten. Ah, no, there we go, spiced wine. That's more my uh, spiced mulled wine. And, uh, oh, luxury chocolate. What's not to like? Uh, I think I've said that already, but not to worry. Bethlehem shop, they're regular here. Some vintage coins and other bits and pieces. And uh, burgers, oh, not too bad. Eight pound, Cumberland sausage. Classic beef. Yeah. Where are we going now? Yeah. Oh, Snowden Crafts. Uh, more, more beer. Ah, Spanish patisseries and uh, some Indian, oh no, leather handbags. Yeah, leather Indian handbags. Let's go back. It's a town hall just to give you an idea of scale. And around this corner, where we go, oh look at this, look at this. Gorgeous confectionery. Very nice. Mini Dutch pancakes, no prices yet, still setting up. We only opened this uh, morning so it's uh, understandable that they're uh, a couple of stalls are still in there. Uh, some hippie gear. <laughs> Anyone who's a fan of Glastonbury. Keep you nice and uh, cosy. Bar humbugs, mulled wine, they're regulars. I've seen them before. Ooh, what have we got here? From All the way from Lee. E by gum. What are they selling? Some pieces. There we go. Right, let's come round the side here. Ooh. Now then, what have we got here? An old record. Is it records? I don't know. I don't know what they are. Oh, ah, uh, Krusty Pie Company. So we'll certainly be having one of them again near the Christmas. I think they're just toasters. Viking horns, never seen that before. And more uh, more uh, alcohol. More cheese. And on the side. Some nice uh, nice ceramics there. Uh, very nice. And socks. Yeah, that's probably one for my good lady. Socks. Happy Christmas, Ian. Very nice. They've not, uh, they've not opened up yet. Some stars, paper stars, unusual. And um, there we go. 
We're near the end. Cookie company, four pound each, three for ten. Jewelry. I don't know what they are. <laughs> and then, finally, some uh, woolen uh, products, some spirits. Of some, oh yeah, more spirits, more spirits, and. If you've got a dog, more bits and pieces for your dog. And there we go, that's our 10 minute short look at this year's 2024 Chester Christmas Markets. And I say, if you're interested in uh, visiting the city, fantastic uh, opportunities here with the, uh, especially photography walking, we've got the walk all the way round the Roman Wall, which uh, can be done in about uh, about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes, depending on the uh, fitness and uh, the uh, weather, etc. And uh, as I say, we start at the Cathedral, Abbey Street, we go down the rows, we go down to uh, St John's Chapel, various artefacts there, then the coffin in the wall, just recapping here, and uh, down to the River Dee, we walk along the River Dee, over Grosvenor, the Grosvenor Bridge, and um, we can do that over, a, say, a two-hour period. And um, we, I, I've done professional photography. I've got pictures of royalty, celebrities, etc. Just go to uh, www.chesterpublishinghouse.com. We also um, create galleries uh, on, on Google, the website. So if you are sufficiently artistic and want to uh, show your artistic skills... In photography, um, we can actually create a uh, a website for you for yeah, around about hundred pounds, hundred and fifty pounds, something like that, depending. Um, and uh, we can post the images on for you to get you going. We can give you sort of tuition in terms of how to do that. And uh, obviously, on the walks, we give you tuition in terms of composition, um, how to take the best photographs that you possibly can with your equipment it's not limited to professional cameras um, I actually moving more and more towards a mobile actually because uh, the imagery for what I want is just as good as my two two three thousand pound camera anyway I hope you've enjoyed this walk and um, hopefully you'll join us on one of our other walks soon and uh, a Merry Christmas to you all